Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is the next in a series of videos on the tool axis control options in the simultaneous five axis milling toolpath. So today we'll be doing tilted to service normal by fixed angle. So the surface normal, if we take a look at the surfaces that we selected, is essentially just the vector perpendicular to that surface. So when we're looking at a surface that's pretty much flat, it means just perpendicular there. If we're looking at a surface like this fillet, it is perpendicular to every point on that on that part there, on that surface. So essentially that one vector shows it at that point, but as it's going across that, that curvature there, you'll actually see that the tool, if it's in the angle of the surface normal, is going to be pointed in that direction. So that is what it refers to when it says the surface normal. Now, tilted to that surface normal by a fixed angle is this angle here. Literally just what angle off of that yellow arrow we're going to be working at. We can tilt it relative to whatever coordinate, uh, coordinate axis we want, x, y, and z. Z is the default because z is your tool axis in five axis milling. So that's the direction the tool is gonna to come from. We're just gonna tilt it relative to Z, but you can tilt it to whatever angle you want. You can even choose a line. And then when you choose a line, you're basically choosing two points to define the line. So let's take a look at that tool path. So I'm actually just gonna give us a section cut view. And we're gonna look at it from the side. So obviously we're going to go all the way around, as you saw when I chose the uh, the surfaces. And one thing to notice immediately is that I'm telling it to be uh, zero degrees from the surface normal, but those upper fillets there, the tool is actually going to come out, come down almost vertical. We can't really see it because I did that kind of fast, but I want to get to a certain point here where we can see that the tool is perpendicular to that surface. So that is zero degrees from the surface normal. But if we jump out of here. And let's just take a look at that in the full view. Even though we're trying to stay uh, perpendicular to the surface normal of those upper fillets, the first couple of movements aren't really doing that. They're kind of, they're tilted a little bit, but not so much. And that's because of the pole limit. The pole limit is actually limiting the, the, the movement of the tool so that it doesn't actually um, go past the, the z-axis. So depending on your geometry, you might even see the tool come in purely vertical because, again, the pole limit is turned on. It's going to make sure that it doesn't cross the z-axis. It doesn't violate that. And uh, the whole point of the pole limit is on a five-axis machine. You don't want to go onto crazy angles and your tool table and your, your, your carousel, your trunnion, whatever it is, uh, is giving you five axis on your machine. It's not going to be tilted at such a weird angle that um, it'll be impossible on your machine. So the pole limit gives you the ability to just kind of stay within limits. Um, if it gets too close to that, that tilt limit, then it actually just uses the, um, the, the Z axis or whatever axis you're asking it to tilt. Now let's take a look at this at a little more realistic of an angle. I'm gonna put this at 45. We'll recalculate that. Okay, and you can see again, because that 45 degrees is going to be a little too much for the upper limit, it's coming in purely vertical. And likewise for the bottom there. But let's see what this looks like when we actually go through that. So it's purely vertical. And then as we get further down, a little bit of a tilt is developing. And there's our 45s beginning to take shape. Okay. So that angle there is simply just an angle off of the surface normal. Any questions on that or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts, your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel and in this series of videos. Thanks for watching.